Welcome to Bali Next Asia TV channel. On this occasion, we will provide a hemodynamic echocardiography tutorial for beginners. For the preparation, make sure the echocardiography probe used is for cardiac examination. First, identify the marker on the probe and put jelly on the tip of the probe. Step 1. Approach the parasternal long axis view. We will evaluate the left ventricular outflow tract diameter. The probe is placed in the third until fourth left parasternal intercostal space. For parasternal long axis view, the probe marker is pointed at 10 o'clock or right mid shoulder. On the parasternal long axis view, we will see the left atrium, mitral valve, left ventricle, aortal valve, part of right ventricle, interventricular septum, and left ventricular posterior wall. After getting the base view, measure the left ventricular outflow tract diameter. Step 2. Approach the apical 4 chamber view. The probe is placed in the 5-6 left intercostal space. For the 4th chamber view, the marker is pointed at 3 o'clock. We will see the left atrium, left ventricle, right atrium, right ventricle, interventricular septum, interarterial septum, mitral and tricuspid valve. The next step is tilting probe for getting the apical 5 chamber view, and we will get the outer valve aortic root and LVRT. After that, we choose the pulse wave Doppler mode for measure the LVRT velocity time integral. To get the stroke volume, insert the LVOT diameter and LVOT PDI. Last step, approach the subcostal view. The probe is placed under the cypoid process with the marker pointing to 12 o'clock. Then the probe is directed to the right side so that an image of the inferior vena cava appears. On the screen, we will see the right atrium, inferior vena cava, and hepatic vein. Next, we select the MO to measure the diameter of the inferior vena cava and the collapsibility index.
After all the data has been collected, we calculate the SVR using a calculator. That's the hemodynamic echocardiography tutorial video for beginners. Thank you so much.